Hi, welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be creating an image in um, Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, but I'm browsing Civit AI for some inspiration and I came across this image, which I really like the look of and um, I really like the style, so I want to try and replicate something like this um, myself. So as you can see here, we've got, um, it's just a pretty cool image of a cyborg robot type thing with a fishbowl for its head. Now this has been made using um, Flux and also a separate LoRa to create this image, but we're not going to be doing that because we're going to be doing something in um, Flux Ultra. And um, it's got a prompt there, but it's a very small prompt because the LoRa is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. So instead of putting this into ChatGPT or something and, and getting it to spit out a huge description, I've just come up with something off the top of my head just looking at this image to give us a broad outline of a bit of inspiration. So I'm now going to jump across to replicate.com where I've already got the Black Forest Labs Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra page loaded and I've pasted into the prompt box um, the prompt I came up with off the top of my head just looking at it. It's not super complicated, but it's just I've just described roughly what I'm seeing. So I'll just read it out briefly. Three quarter side on portrait photo of a cyborg robot comprised of intricate exposed wires and cables with a fishbowl head containing a live goldfish. The background is a sage green studio backdrop. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still, my voice is still recovering from a, from a bit of illness I've had recently. And so I'm just going to see what that gets. I'm not trying to chase that original image. I'm not trying to get something exact. We're just using it as inspiration, which is um, a lot of fun for me coming up with your own descriptions. Image prompt. I'm not going to use an image prompt. Um, I'm going to do aspect ratio. I'm going to do 2 by 3 I think, for this one. Safety tolerance, I'm going to leave that. Now I'm going to try it with and without RAW, so I'm actually going to try it with RAW turned on first because I just like the results that you get from RAW if, it, if it's suitable. And I'm going to click run and we're just going to see the results that we get from that. So again, when I work like this, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to teach you to sort of take rough inspiration and come up with your own twist. We're not trying to copy someone else's work exactly, That's, there's no point in that. So here we've got something quite crazy looking. So. Well, th this is where this is where Flux Ultra, Flux Pro Ultra really goes to town with the details. I mean, because of the resolution it's got, um, it generates an absolutely wild amount of details and cables and bits like that. And sometimes it's actually a bit too much. Like in this case, it's almost quite overwhelming with structure. There's no there's no real structure to it um, because there's so many loose cables. So I can try. I'm going to try and uncheck raw. I'm actually going to go for. Uh, I'm going to paste, copy and paste the seed in here to lock the seed. And I've taken raw mode off. And just out of curiosity, let's see what I get without the raw mode on. It might just give me a might just give me an impression of which mode I would like to continue in. Now, once this is running, it will give us something. Mm, actually. Yeah, I think this is actually for the same prompt. I think this is giving me a little bit more of what I want. Um, okay, it's obviously not. It's, it's, it's still a bit of a mess. So we can work with this. So let's go back to our prompt. First of all, I'm going to take the seed out because I don't want to keep generating with a fixed seed. So let's go to our prompt. Three quarters. So the, the view is the same. The view I like. Let's side on three quarter portrait view. Three quarter portrait basically means you get your head on the top part of the torso in the shot. Cyborg comprised of intricate exposed wires and cables. Okay, so maybe the word intricate is just making it too overly complex. Um, and it's looking a bit messy. Cables. Maybe we need to add something else to give it a little bit more substance. So, comprised of exposed wires and cables. Um, comprised of I'll put uh, detailed tarnished metal to try and get some texture. So, I was going to put metal, but put tarnished metal body with. So now I'm, I'm trying to um, I'm trying to give it more of a structure as well as the wire. So now I've added a detailed tarnished metal body with exposed wires and cables. Because I really like the wires and cables, but in this example, compared to the Civit AI one, whereas that's got a lot more structure to it, um, our version's looking a lot more messy, and I don't really like it. 
and I'm trying to rein that in. With the fish but containing a, I'm going to put large live goldfish because just to get it around that. Um, the background is a Sage Green Studio backdrop. Mm, let's see what we get for that, okay? I'm just going to run that. Now, the cost of running um, Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra is down here. So you basically get approximately 16 images for a dollar. So it's definitely not cheap when it comes to image generation, but you do get a very premium look and a high resolution output for that. So this is more this is more the kind of thing I was thinking of when I typed this in. So we've we've added that metal body, that tarnished metal body. So it's giving it a bit of structure with the shoulder and the chest and the head. It's got like a form to the head now. It's got a yeah that tarnished rustiness but it's still got all the wire detail on the cables so again we're going in a different direction this is a bit more shiny and there's like what looks like a piece of leather or wood at the side there on the shoulder we're sort of going away from that now more towards a kind of rusty corroded look which I actually quite like so uh, there's some problems though um, let's just have a quick look zoom back in you see like the fish the tail is actually coming out typical AI kind of problems it's supposed to be inside the bowl but the tail of the goldfish is coming out over over the top of the metal there but if we like the image that will be a really quick fix in post-production so what else can we do to this image now we could either sit here and just re-roll it a few more times see if we get anything more interesting and that's gonna that's gonna um, it's gonna rack up the cost or we can look at it now and analyze and go well what do we want anything different from this what are we trying to achieve and now I've looked at the original, I'm like, do you know what? I really like that. I think it's supposed to be wood or leather, that part there. It's just part of the training data from the law that's been used on this. I actually want that in there. So I'm going to add that to the prompt and see if we can sort of pull up, out some of that detail. So Tarn's metal body with exposed wires and cables. I'm going to put and um, polish. It looks like, I mean, my wood... You know, my wood knowledge is very, very low, but it kind of looks like walnut, polished walnut wood. I don't know. So I'm just going to put um, unpolished walnut wood accents. And maybe me specifying the large goldfish was pushing it a little bit too big here. So I realize I've got a realistic live goldfish. So now I want something a bit more interesting with the background you see, so what can we do to the background? I liked it initially, I liked how it was just like a plain studio background, but I actually feel like um, I just want it to be a little bit of a deeper colour. So I'm going to change the colour, I'm just going to put a teal, a teal studio backdrop um, with, let's just put a... Um, Radiant spotlight. Just trying to get it a bit more dramatic. Okay, so let's run that. The thing is about using more expensive models like Flux Pro Ultra is you have to just be careful to be more intentional with your with your um, prompting. With Flux Schnell and Dev, especially if you're running them locally, for example, you can just like you can just keep hammering out lots and lots of variants until you stumble upon something you like but with this model being a lot more expensive you have to be more careful with your generations therefore your money so um it just causes you to be a bit more focused on what you're what you're doing okay so let's have a look at this okay so it's got the wooden accents but it's kind of yeah it's made it a little bit too refined now see we've lost that balance now We've lost that balance between that kind of complex kind of corroded metal. And as soon as I've now added the wood element in, it's kind of pushed it into a direction that I don't think is particularly, um, I don't think is particularly desirable, not to me anyway. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to rein this back. Um, I'm going to put it with the wires and cables and... Maybe take that off, and yeah, I'm just going to take that that reference to the wood off completely. But I am going to add some glowing lights to this or something. Um, okay, 
rules and glowing the diodes or glowing LEDs or something like that but with a fishbowl head now I don't want to keep making more generations of this for too long so I really need to decide now what am I gonna do is there anything missing from this that I want this to 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 sort of have whether it's texture whether it's material whether it's background um, and I'm I want just a little bit of solid sort of dynamic so maybe some smoke in the air just a little bit of smoke or haze so I'm gonna try and add that on here I suppose what it was containing a realistic live goldfish. The background is a teal studio with, with a gradient spotlight, which is there, giving us some um, nice gradient in the background. And I'm going to put and slight smoke um, and mist in the atmosphere. Okay, so I don't want it to be overwhelmed, but I just want it to be just adding an extra layer. So now I'm going to click run and what I will do at this point, now I'm pretty happy with um, the direction it's going to be taken hopefully, this is where I will say okay, I'm done with the prompt, I'm done with the settings, I'm just going to run maybe two or three more of these and pick the best one and um, then take that forward into, um, you know, into either a final point or to say it's... Um, or to say it's going to be maybe have some in painting done to it or something like that. This one, don't like the fish. The fish looks quite fake. But I have to say, Flux Pro and Flux Pro Ultra are not very good at combining realistic elements, like realistic looking people's faces and realistic animals, with kind of like futuristic cybernetic kind of things it always pushes the what was should be the realistic element animal human into a slightly more illustrative kind of space so i will probably in paint that separately or photoshop something else in if i wanted to proceed with that but i am now gonna just run another one i'm gonna run two um in the normal mode and then i'm gonna click the raw button again and i'm gonna run another two and then I'm going to bring those up on the screen for you so you can see what we got. <laughs> 